What's up guys, my name's Cody and we are back with another video and this is pretty unheard of for me, I don't typically do this, but we are back with part two for my favorite bets. I did find some more since all the chaos of yesterday and I had to do the late video and even then I had to sit back, kind of look at these three new fights, see if there was anything else I wanted to play and I was able to come up with a couple more spots. So before we get into it, make sure you leave a like on the video, leave a comment, click subscribe, turn your post notifications on, because I do these betting breakdowns and my favorite bets every week. So make sure you give me a uh, sub on here so you can see the next one. We'll be back next week. All that out of the way, man. I'm gonna go through all my bets real quick. Um, thought about doing, Dar doing a little something on Darian Weeks. Johan Lioness could get the knockout, but um, I'm gonna lean weeks, uh, just not enough to bet on it, so I stayed off that. This fight right here, complete pass. I thought maybe a dog shot on Elise Reed, just seeing Melissa Martinez coming in as a decent favorite. Y'all know I have Haile Alatang uh, in a parlay. Um, I'll talk about the second leg of that parlay in a second. I got Norma Dumont, but I can't trust her to take down, take, uh, go out there and get takedown, so I laid off that. Y'all know I got Jay Collier. Chris Barnett weighing in the heaviest weight weigh in in UFC history. That's insane. He's 5'9. Um, and he quit in his last fight. He's not a heavyweight. He's like a lightweight. And I'm not even talking about like height. I'm talking about frame. He has just no business being the heaviest weigh in of all time. It's insane. Jay Collier, I get he's get he gets a lot of shit, but honestly, he's got good cardio, he's got good volume. I think he's better technically than everywhere except maybe, you know, spinning kicks from Chris Barnett. Everything but the Taekwondo is better for Jake. So I got Jake parlayed up. Um, boom, boom, boom. Next up, Jamie Pickett versus Dennis Tullulian. I actually did find a little spot I liked for this bet. Um, overall, I had a slight lean to Jamie Pickett, but I did see that plus 105 Tullulian. Uh, Inside the distance, decision equals push. Pickett is not a finisher. I would be very surprised. Maybe he could latch on a sub, but I just don't see it. I think if there's a finish, it's going to be Tallulah, probably KO. Um, this fight's probably going to go to the, dis the distance, so I'll just get my money back. But if there's a finish, I'm getting slight underdog odds on Tallulah, and I just feel like he's the finisher out of the two. So I'm gonna, I am gonna, I got that one, Tallulah, plus 105 uh, to end inside the distance. And decision equals a push. Next up, we got Jailton Almeida. This is another one I found some value on. He's a huge favorite and way more than I would want to play uh, uh, against Anton here. But, uh, you know, I did find that plus 325. Some people got it like plus 380. Jailton Almeida by KO. I get he has a couple more subs than KO. So he's never won a fight by decision. Um... And I just feel like it's 50-50. I mean, maybe you could say it's like 55-45 for the sub, considering that he has more on his record, and I get that. But I feel like Jailton's going to take this dude down and, you know, do whatever he wants. If he wants to just posture up and rain down shots until the ref stops it, I think he can do that. So I took plus 325 Jailton Almeida by KO. I just like those odds. And he could also maybe just say, screw him, I'm going to work on my strike and catch him on the feet. Not a smart idea, but it's possible. Y'all know I got Hakeem, parlayed up. Thought about doing the under on this. Rosa is a killer be killed guy, but I know Dawudu, even after missing weight, uh, typically, you know, a little bit more of a decision hitter. So just have that parlay, and he is parlayed up. Do, 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 do. Um, and here it is. Yep, I have um, Hakeem Dawudu parlayed up with. Kutalaba from this next fight. Um, I get that, you know, Kutalaba has not been very trustworthy, but I do think that uh, Johnny Walker, especially since going to SBG, I mean, could he land a shot and knock Kutalaba out? Yeah, he definitely could. He's a big, strong guy. Hard to, hard to, uh, for Kutalaba to control, who doesn't have the greatest top control anyways, but I'm still going to lean Kutalaba. Is the line a little wide? Yeah. Was I kind of forcing because I needed a second leg for that parlay? You could argue that. But I'm going to go Kutalaba, and I haven't parlayed. Irene Aldana versus Macy Chase on pass. I'm good. I'm not laying chalk on Irene Aldana, but I did pick her. Next up, the three new fights. And you guys know I am on D-Rod. I love Lee, man. If you didn't see that video of, of the leech going, Oh, Tony, Tony. 
when Tony almost stepped on a cord, I was like, bro, that's the most relatable video I've ever seen. That is all, the entire MMA fan base. But uh, because Tony, as you all know, and the biggest fight of his career against Khabib, uh, had to pull out. Now Khabib had to pull out, what, three times? But Tony did uh, have to pull out after tearing his entire ACL while tripping on a cord at doing UFC media. So he was doing UFC media and the leech saw him about the stuff on a cord. He was like, oh no, 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 no. And I was like, yo, I love this guy. This is why I hate MMA betting because I love this guy. I'm rooting for this guy. And I like D-Rod too. But I, you know, after everything this week, the leech, literally everybody's talking about all these other people and the shout out to Nate and Tony respecting or stepping up and Holland stepping up. But even D-Rod, but the leech is the one who really got the short end of the stick, stepping up, fighting a guy 10 pounds heavier than him. Not just 10 pounds, like, at the, you know, we see that all the time. I'm talking about they weighed in 10 pounds separate. d Rob was supposed to fight at 180, the leech 170. So, you know, not to mention whatever they rehydrated at. d Rob might have a 20-pound weight advantage. But that being said, I think d Rob skill for skill, does have him edged a little bit. But the equalizer is that KO. I have been tempted to do a little hedge. Because I do have two units on D-Rod at minus 150. Um, do Have I considered a plus 325, I think it was, the Leech KO? I, have, I haven't I have done it yet. I really want to just ride it out on D-Rod. But, you know, it's going to be a sweat. The Leech has big power. I don't see him winning outside of a KO. The co-main event, Hamza versus Kevin Holland. I am honestly so much happier that it's this and not Hamza versus Nate. Um, Holland and D-Rod was sick, but... You know, Hamza and Kevin, man, I mean, we've seen Hamza might not have the greatest gas tank. Uh, early on, I think he's going to be able to take, Holland knows, I mean, they literally asked him, hey, is this a better matchup for you? He was like, fuck no. And then he was like, you know, he said something else too at a separate interview yesterday talking about some, yeah, my people are worried because they know I can't wrestle, but I'm getting paid. I was like, oh God, that's the worst thing you ever want to hear from someone. Like, they're like, oh, I could get out wrestled, but at least I'm getting paid. It's like, oh, God, no. Um, but that being said, if it goes to the later rounds, you know, we could see it get dicey. We saw Hamza get extra tired fighting bloated lightweight Gilbert Burns. And, man, I say that with respect. I really think skill-wise, Gilbert's really good. He's just so undersized for a welt for these huge welterweights. And uh, I just, I don't know. I mean, I respect, man, I have utmost respect for Burns. But Holland... You know, at least on the feet is going to have some serious advantages. Hamzad does have power, but man, Holland has sneaky power too. And if Hamzad gets crazy trying to be on the feet, then, you know, he could get clipped. The bet I, I like, the only bet I really like on this fight is I took um, fight to complete one round, minus 250. I mean, I don't think Hamzad's going to go in there and just blow the doors off him in the first round. I don't think Hamzad's getting slept in the first round. Um, even Holland talked about, oh, I just got to get out of those first couple rounds, and then we're going to find out about that cardio. I like that game plan, Holland. You didn't have to tell the world, including Hamza, but I like that game plan. So fight to complete one round, minus 250. I parlayed that up. In the main event, Nate Diaz, two legends. Um, we saw Tony start as a big favorite, man. He was like minus 170 or something, and now it came all the way down to minus 120. Um, pretty interesting. Um, I would have only taken a shot on this fight if it would have been a big underdog because I think this is genuinely like a 50-50 fight. Two guys, legends, but they are getting up there. They have been on a rough patch. They're fighting at a division that's not really their division, but that's cool. They're both you know, just basically not cutting weight. I like it. I love this main event. God, the co-main and main are just so much better now. Thank you, Hamza, for being an unprofessional little bitch. Um, would I say that to your face? Depends if I had some backup, but uh, nah, he just, I just didn't like missing weight, smiling, acting like it's all good, just to fight a 40-year-old guy on his last fight, like just no respect at all. That being said, I said I had a bet on this, and then I parlayed up that fight to complete one round in the co-main event with fight to complete two rounds in the main event, and uh, that was minus 125, and I really like that, man, so uh, that's... What I did for those fights, um, let me make sure I didn't miss out on any. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, I got it. So real quick, all of them I got. Nate Diaz and Tony complete two rounds. Parlayed up with Hamza and Kevin Holland complete one round. Kutalaba parlayed up with Dawadu. I have, and my last parlay is uh, Alatang parlayed up with Collier. 
I like that one too. Next up, I got two units on D Rob minus 150. Uh, Tallulah inside the distance. Decision equals push plus 105. And Jailton Almeida, Almeida plus 325 by KO. Those are my bets. I appreciate you guys watching. Went a little longer, but again, a lot to go over, man. So many changes. I know this is weird to do two favorite bets videos for one, but y'all know I'm not tweeting them out anymore. You guys want my bets, you gotta come right here because Twitter, you'll win 20 fight cards in a row and I won money again last week. Yeah, nobody cares, but on the off chance you lose, these people come out of nowhere, dudes I've never even heard of. So you know what? You wanna come, you're gonna come right here. This is the one stop place to get the bets. I appreciate you guys. My social media is gonna be below where I go talk about fights all day. I'm live on Twitch for these fights later on tonight. On Twitch, as always, the link's below. Appreciate you guys. Make some money, enjoy the fights, peace.